It is time once again to bring in Willie Hallahan and Sporting a Cause, as we always start off the 10 o'clock hour like this on Sunday morning. Uh, Willie, of course, uh, runs that website, sportingacause.com. He blogs there and also, more importantly, really uh, has a list of upcoming events that are all fundraisers, and somehow those fundraisers are tied to athletic events. Willie, good to speak to you again this morning. Good to speak to you, too, Marshall. I've got <clears throat> kind of a frog in my throat this morning. Hopefully we can get by that. Uh, other, other than that, life is good. Uh, a lot going on, just like last week, uh, as, as I've said many times, uh, uh, belabored the point probably too much. Um, uh, September is the busiest month for events, whether it's golf tournaments or running races or what have you. It's a beautiful time of year. The weather's uh, probably at its, at its best uh, and uh, this week is no different. Um, <clears throat> most of what I'm going to be talking about are, are things that are actually going on as we speak. Uh, a lot of these virtual events that would have had a day uh, where people gathered, uh, when, once they turned virtual, if they chose to go that route, they uh, extended the time so people would have <clears throat> maybe a, <clears throat> excuse me, a week or two weeks or even a month to uh, complete the task of whatever, whatever it is. So anyway, we're in the midst of a lot of ongoing virtual events, and that's going to be my concentration. Uh, today, one of those is the race around the lake at Brody Park in New Hartford. Uh, that continues virtually through, uh, through October 4th. Uh, the Berkshire Fall Foliage 5K Race Series uh, is ongoing. I talked about that last week. It's, uh, it was just organized recently. And uh, this is organized by the Berkshire Running Center. And what they did was they took eight 5K races that have been canceled. These are mostly up in the uh, Berkshire County area. And bundled these eight races into a series, an eight-race series. So uh, the idea is that people can run one race a week for the next eight weeks and keep track of their uh, times and everything. Uh, and, um, and that uh, series goes on through October 25th can find uh, more information at the Berkshire Running Center.com. It's a, a, a running related store up in Pittsfield and they do a lot of uh, good things with uh, uh, fundraising races. Um, both the Great Cycle Challenge and Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation Million Mile, two month long fundraising efforts, uh, are going to end Wednesday at the end of September. And uh, uh, both of these have been raising money to fight childhood cancer, which has uh, been the uh, September's been Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, the Eastern Duchess Roadrunners Club, these are all ongoing and, and, and ending soon. The Eastern Duchess Roadrunners Club has done something similar to what the Berkshire Running Center did. They took three canceled 5Ks over in the New York State area and uh, bundled them into a series. And... Uh, this has been uh, running for the month of September, and that too will uh, will end this Wednesday, the 30th. So, and if you've been running in any of these series, you want to be mindful of the deadlines because uh, for these uh, virtual events, many of them you're running your race and you you submit your times, um, and uh, there are deadlines for that. Sometimes you can you can win a prize or or something. Uh, so be mindful of these deadlines because um, uh, you don't want to lose out if you put in the the effort. Um, I just want to remind listeners that the Housatonic Heritage Walks uh, were, were canceled. That was a, for the month of September as well. <clears throat> but most of the almost 80 venues that uh, were going to be explored during those walks are open anyway to the public. Uh, so uh, on these nice days, uh, if you're looking for something to do outdoors, you can go to... Um, uh, sportingacause.com and find a link to the Heritage website. Their their website is the most comprehensive I've ever seen. You, it, it, you know, you can find out anything about everything that they do there. Um, and I suggest you check it out. There are all kinds of uh, preserves and walks and uh, um, uh, historical and cultural points of interest that you never even knew existed in our area. Um, and uh, take advantage of them while the weather's still good. Uh, also, the Lauren Bardino Memorial Run Walk uh, in Winstead, uh, like many of the other 5Ks, that's going to wrap up its virtual run Wednesday. Um, the Little Guild Run and Wag 5K is also running virtually this year, and that goes on through October 31st. Um, the Run for the Hills 5K and 10K races um, have been running virtually, and they end October 3rd. The Great Barrington Land Conservancy benefits from that. 
Uh, also, the Barry Hopkins run at Alana has been running virtually, and that ends today. So, again, if you've uh, completed your run, you might want to make sure that you've submitted your time so you don't lose out. Uh, today is also the uh, last day of the Northwest Connecticut Crop Hunger Walk. That started uh, this past Monday and ends today. Um, and, of course, uh, in any of these virtual events, the opportunity to donate to uh, one of the participants or to the nonprofit itself doesn't end today just because the event does. Uh, oftentimes, in a in a walk, the, the donation period extends for 30 days after the end of the, the, the event. So the people who are in the walks have time to contact their, their, their people and, and collect the funds and so forth. And, of course, you can donate any time, but if you want it associated with the event itself, um, you, want to, you want to wrap that up within 30 days. Um, now through Wednesday... Uh, Construct Inc. Uh, up in the Great Barrington area. This is a nonprofit that works to find homes for the homeless. Um, very good organization, and they canceled their walk, which was uh, like their major fundraiser of the year. And what they did in its stead is they're holding a raffle. They've they've partnered with the uh, Berkshire Bike and Board up in Great Barrington, and they're offering a three thousand dollar e bike um, to uh, to raffle off to raise money. Um, and an e-bike is one of those, it's a hybrid, it's basically a, a bicycle that you can pedal, but it also has an electric motor to assist you. In a, um, you know, I, I think those, it might be one of those modes of the future of transportation. Um, um, anyway, it's a really nice prize, and uh, you can still buy tickets, but the, um, the drawing is going to be this Wednesday. And that's to replace their, their, their walk, their major fundraiser. Um, the Sharon Classic Road Race. We've talked about that before. Um, is virtual, and um, the um, runners can either run the official course; it's a five-mile event, or find a five-mile stretch that they want. Uh, you can register your time and um, maybe even win something. And the the Sharon Daycare uh, benefits from that. Uh, also today, and running through October fourth, is the Catch a Ray 5K. Um, which turned virtual this uh, this year and raises scholarship money. Uh, also today is a, a, an in-person event. Uh, there are few and far between this year, but this is one of them. It's a new event. It's called the Bike and Brew at Big Elm. And uh, this is a, a, a series of three. It's a ride, not a race. Uh, there's, they're not timed, but they're offering three different rides of varying lengths depending on your ability and stamina. And that's hosted by... <clears throat> and benefits Berkshire Velo, which is a nonprofit that organizes uh, rides. Uh, the bike for the bike for cancer cure uh, finishes its run today. That's over in the Kingston area. People have been riding over there, and uh, they're raising money for the Gruner Memorial Cancer Fund. A lot, a lot of uh, events this month are cancer. Uh, Related just because September has been, as I said earlier, the uh, uh, Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, also there's an event, I haven't talked about this before because I didn't know about it, but it's been going on for a while. It's called the Healthy Kids Running Series. It's, it's, uh, it's based in Pleasant Valley, New York, but uh, the, the location doesn't really matter because it's pretty much gone virtual this year along with so many other events. It's, it's, basic, it's a national organization. What they do is they get... Uh, school districts or towns or whatever to organize their kids to start running for fitness. It's, it's fitness awareness and getting kids uh, out and about and get used to the idea of running or walking and, and, uh, and uh, improving their level of fitness. And um, they offer uh, runs for all ages from like pre-K up through high school. And uh, I, I plan on talking about this a lot more in the future because it just sounds like uh, the, you know, the need is there. I mean, ob obesity is running rampant for all of us, no matter our age, and we can certainly do uh, do well with um, organizations like that. So I'll, I'll investigate that and talk about it uh, um, on an ongoing basis. Um, today, uh, this is another uh, in-person event, uh, the Dutchess Ulster County's Out of the Darkness Community Walk is being held uh, over in Poughkeepsie. Um, it used to be on the walkway over the Hudson, but 
for distancing purposes, it's being held. It's starting at the uh, Chaz and Companies. It's a private uh, company over on Fox Street. And I checked the website because this is this is a, one of those causes that's dear to my heart. And uh, I found that uh, a, a lot of these, uh, the people who participate, uh, join teams. They form teams, and then they compete against each other for in, uh, to raise money. And Team Joey, which is a local organization, it's made up of uh, loved ones of Joey Sherwood, who lost his life to suicide a few years ago. Uh, they've raised over $5,400 so far. That's the second highest total for a uh, team total. Uh, among all of them, and Joy uh, Sherwood, who is Joey's widow, uh, has raised over thirty-six hundred dollars herself. So that's 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 great. And the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention uh, benefits from this walk, and that's a it's a it's a great organization. Um, and uh, to deal with uh, the non-grouping uh, aspect uh, of the pandemic, uh, the walk is being held, but they're 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 doing it in staggered starts so that. Uh, it's not a mass start like so many uh, have done in the past. They, they let people out a few at a time, and that's how they maintain their distancing. And uh, uh, I, I guess this would be a good time at the end of uh, talking about the out of the darkness, uh, Marshall. I uh, want to let your listeners know that my blog this week, uh, I had it up on, on Facebook, and it's uh, at the top of my homepage, uh, Sporting a Cause. Um, I featured five people from this area. Um, who are walking in uh, in several of these events that I've been talking about, uh, raising money for extraordinarily good causes. And uh, I've taken these five people, each of whom are raising money uh, for the walks, and I've put their uh, links to their fundraising efforts there. So uh, uh, if people ha- are of a mind, they have a few dollars, and they're moved by any of these causes, uh, they can support these folks. And... Uh, uh, these are people who uh, are walking in the, the walk to end Alzheimer's, uh, the walk against uh, ALS, that's Lou Gehrig's disease. They're walking in the crop walk for hunger and, uh, and in the out of the darkness walk to prevent suicide. And you can get all this uh, information either, like I say, on my homepage. Uh, it's it's uh, in the top blog. Uh, the blog is titled, I Missed the Point. Uh, if you re- click on that, that'll take you to this information and find the links to these uh, these great folks' uh, fundraising efforts. And that pretty much wraps it up, Marshall. Another busy week. Uh, I expect it to last for a couple more into October uh, just because of postponements and so forth from the spring and early summer. I think we're going to stay busy for the next few weeks. All right. Well, busy is good. Yes, it is. It sure is. <laughs> All right, Willie, keep up the great work. Once again, that's sportingacause.com, and uh, we'll speak to you again next week, Willie. Okay, thanks, Marshall, so much. Take care.